13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Dave Cravassier, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, you're being instructed to watch out and move over for cyclists. That's the message local law enforcement has for drivers now. This morning, an officer rode on a specially equipped bicycle down Fort Apache to make sure drivers were obeying the law. Officials want to remind drivers that when they're able to, they need to move over and give cyclists the right of the lane or they will get a ticket. And according to a new Nevada Gaming Control Board report, Las Vegas Strip Casinos continue to feel the effects of the pandemic. Strip Casinos took in more than $320 million in gaming wins in January. That's up from December, but down almost 44% compared to the same time last year. Downtown casinos saw nearly 49 million in gaming wins last month. That's down more than 17% when compared to January of 2020. Tickets are now on sale for Monday night's game at T-Mobile Arena against the Minnesota Wild. Now uh, you have to purchase them in increments of two before the game. Fans will get a recommended entry time. Masks will be required. You'll need a game day symptom check for COVID. You'll be able to do that straight from your phone. No bags will be allowed inside the arena, and that includes purses. It's kind of patiently waiting for these afternoon breezes to fizzle. Might not completely happen in Las Vegas until right after sunset at 6 p.m., but things will calm down this evening eventually. 59 to 60 degrees for your highs around the valley. This is a good 10 degrees colder than we were the last couple of days, although we do have plenty of sunshine. As we expect to be calm and clear this evening, it's going to get pretty cold tonight with a low around 40 in Las Vegas. That means outer spots around the edges of the valley will easily dip to the upper 30s, 40s and 50s first thing Friday morning, but a really nice Friday afternoon around 66. They were in the 60s Saturday, but we dip back to the upper 50s on Sunday. That's because there's another round of some weekend breezes. OK, thanks, Justin. And that was your 13 Action News update. You'll find more on our KTNV.com website and our free mobile app.